Yo, I want y'all to check out this crazy story about this guy who has to fight back so much to protect his son from the child's own mother. Let's get into it. Y'all probably wonder what's going on, but yes, that's me, my son, and his mom. Hold on, don't click off this video real quick. I'm going to show you why I'm posting this video with Terrence Crawford because he inspired this. Bud came out with his hands balled up. And his daddy said, we got a million dollar baby boy. And I said, we ain't got shit. Now let's get back to the video, but I'll explain everything here shortly. Listen, this is my event. Okay, this is my event. Care. You got to do this. You got to do this. I don't care. Call the book. Let my phone in. Come on. I'm trying to. No. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Do y'all see how the boy, he was not grabbing his father's arm at first, but now he's grabbing his father's arm. The mother is holding the child. The father is not holding on to this boy at all. He's like he is trying to protect the son from the mother. She's she's doing something from he is grabbing his father's arm in protection of what the tyranny he's trying. He's probably facing from his mother. Now he now the child is grabbing the father's arms with both of his hands. Look at his face right here. I hope they zoom in later on, but look at his face. You can see like daddy, please no, don't 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 let go. Please daddy, no. I want to stay with you. I I don't want to let go, daddy. That's the look of on this child's face right here. <laughs> Now for YouTube guidelines, I gotta block this stuff out. The video y'all saw was of my son when he was younger. His mom pulled up on us when we was at an event and was claiming that I kidnapped my son and that I was brainwashing my son. I was neglecting my son. I was putting my son in danger. Wow. She was just recently in a situation where her house got shot up close to 30 times. Two people died. She was shot. Her boyfriend was shot. Um, she got shot. And her family member got shot, but he got killed. So her boyfriend got killed and her cousin got killed. She survived. But one What? hold up wait 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 what she was just in a situation where her house got pew pewed and somebody got laid down forever what oh my god one thing about that situation she ran towards the kid's bedroom or she ran towards a bedroom that was right lined up with the kids so when they shot thank god that you know, the bullets didn't go through them yeah. and through the walls and kill the kids. Yeah. But that's just a side note. But after that situation happened, um, my son was staying with me. She pulled up on us. It was like, we kid I kidnapped my son. The only reason why my son was with me and was not with his mom during this time period was because, for one, or the dude she was with, he did. He was selling drugs. And so he tried to rob somebody, and it went wrong. So they tried to set up some dude, and he got them. Hold on. At the top, let me pull this down a little bit. At the top, it says, also, I found out from her neighbor that she wasn't moving right. I tried to tell her before this happened, but she denied it. What kind of stuff is she getting in? What people is she surrounding herself with that a dude is uh, doing illegal activities and she's got the kid in the same household as this? 
Like, where is CPS? Why did this, this man not have custody? Why, why hasn't the court stepped in to do something about this? Let's keep going. Before they can get him, even though she tries to spin the story. But when he was interrogated after he getting caught, that's what he came up with. So before he got caught, I didn't know what was going on. So I made sure I went to get my son because when this happened, the government was trying to step in and maybe see what was going on, see if the kid was being neglected because it was a bunch of kids in the house when this happened. So I made sure I got my son immediately. So since she was in the hospital, so my son wouldn't be in the system. So that's right. That's get your son, dude. Protect your son. All the mother kids in that house, you have no legal right to them. You have no responsibility for them, but protect your son, protect your child. You as a father, you have rights. Go get your son. You 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 take care of your son and you deal with the course later on. But right now, what is paramount is the, the safety and the care for your child, for your son. While she's in the hospital, let her deal with whatever medical stuff she's dealing with. You make sure that your son has a roof over his head, has somewhere to sleep that night. So I went to get my son and was calling up to the hospital. They wouldn't release any information because Hit she was below. shot. They couldn't catch the subset or the suspect yet. So whenever someone gets shot, if you're not like a certain type of family member, they don't let you come into the hospital room or get in or you can't call up to the hospital and get information about. Yeah, yeah, unless you have power of attorney or something like that, or she tells you, the doctors don't not gonna tell you, she tells you, that's the only way you're gonna find out. Or if another family member tells you something, but the HIPAA law and all this other kind of stuff, the doctors, they're not gonna release that kind of information because not only is it an ongoing investigation, but this is uh, 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 particularly with her health uh, issues going on. And unless you have power of attorney or you're the husband or something like that, they're not going to release that information to you. Or you're on a, a short list that she has in her hospital records. No, you're not getting that information. Who you're looking for. So I tried that, didn't work. So I had to wait for you know her to reach out to me when she did. <clears throat> she just started flipping, cussing me out, was like, where my son at? You're keeping my son from me. I was just shot. And she kept arguing with me. And I was like, okay, just talk to your son. Here goes Damari. And I put my son on the phone. I was just like, here, talk to your son. I put my son on the phone. And she was just still cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing. He was trying to get her attention. And he was like, dad, she's not talking to me. She's just cussing you out. And then and I said, let her know you're on the phone. And, and when he said his name, she was like, I don't care. Put your dad back on the fucking phone. And I'm like, oh, you're crazy. I said, why won't you talk to him? He's like, no, you're, you're trying to be slick. You're trying to keep him from me because you're trying to get off of child support. I'm not going to go on this whole backstory on child support. But this woman had me on child support. She put me on child support and she played games because she was playing, playing me and someone else was trying to make it seem like it was someone else's baby when it was mine. And I was trying to say it was mine, but she was telling him it was his and he was going crazy, putting his hands on her, trying to, you know, hurt me maybe supposedly, but I wasn't, you know, phasing it. But he was making threats towards me, you know, because of her. And she was playing all these games and trying to later on marry me when I was in the military and was telling him she was going to get my car and divorce me, take everything. And then my son was going to be with them because, you know, she was pinning the kid, on, pinning my son on him and saying he wasn't mine. It was just messy. So she got exposed. Everything blew up. She couldn't, you know, take, you know, take, you know, she couldn't accept her responsibility in what she caused, the damage she caused in this family amongst people in the community. So later on, you know, she never got a DNA test, never knew if he was mine at the time. So when I went to Afghanistan, before I went to Afghanistan, she popped up at the house to come see me was like, hey, here's your son. And, and then I knew he was mine because I can just see it. See, it's clear as day. My name is already in. I don't care if you can see it clear as day. I don't care if, if he looks like you. If you have even the slightest suspicion that that child may not be yours, especially before you sign a birth certificate, get a DNA test. And if it's unfortunately after you sign a birth certificate, still get a DNA test to prove that uh, this child is not yours, or if it is yours. Because it, in the eyes of the law, whoever's name is on that birth certificate, guess what? That's who gets the, the child support. That's who gets the assumed responsibility of the father. And in some cases, fellas, if you got a woman that's for the streets and she's your wife, oh, if she gets pregnant, you are assumed the father no matter what, unless you get a DNA test to prove otherwise. But this just goes to show if you are with a woman and she is just some vile, negative, just god-awful wetch. 
a crazy woman will bring your life down so much, so fast. And then you have to fight through all these crazy things just to protect your son, just to uh, get some kind of custody, just to see your child or do uh, just move on with your life because she's making your life a freaking living hell out here. Birth certificate, but I knew he was mine. So I'm like, cool, we need to work stuff out. We need, I need to be in my son's life. You know, I don't like all that drama. She's like, cool, cool. I leave, go to Afghanistan, boom. About a month, two months later, I was in, I had to go to court, didn't know it. So I had a child support hearing. They put me on child support. But because she pulled up on me before I went to Afghanistan, I set stuff up. My mom is sending her a thousand bucks a month. So I was giving her a thousand bucks a month. Then child support was hitting me for like 600 and some change. So I was giving her about 1600 bucks a month for one kid. And then wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. You giving her a thousand dollars a month. Child support says, OK, we're going to ask you to give six hundred dollars a month. So then you proceed to give her sixteen hundred dollars a month. Even though you went to court and the judge said we are going to order child support at six hundred dollars a month, but you decide to go above and beyond and gift her another thousand dollars on top of that. Sir, why are you doing that? You are going way above and beyond your your uh, legal responsibilities because anything more than that, that's not a credit to future child support. That is a gift, sir, a gift that she will damn sure ain't going to never pay you back for. You're not going to see any of that money. So you, you are gifting her an extra thousand dollars a month when the court looked at everything said just give us six hundred dollars and that's cool if you want to buy your son some extra pair of shoes here and there uh maybe get him some clothes or something or whatever things you need for school maybe take him on a trip or whatever okay cool but to give your, the baby mama extra thousand dollars a month hell no you think you think a woman would pay a man an extra thousand dollars a month in child support hell no Hell no. You wouldn't. Hell will freeze over the day you see a woman pay a man an extra dollar more than the legally obligated requirement that she has in child support. By the time I came back, they were still expecting me to pay that amount. So I was I was literally broke. But anyway, she was doing all this, spending money on some other guy. My son was in Dookie diapers, pee diapers. She's feeding this dude lobster, steak, everything. I'm helping paying the Trifling. bills. My mom was helping out. When my mom found out, she told me, and I was I was livid. But she wasn't pouring into my son. She didn't care about my son. By the time I got out the army, my son was already living with someone else, living with her aunt. And she wasn't taking responsibility of my son, but she was still collecting child support payments. Of course she and child was. support never stopped it, interrupted, no nothing. It was terrible. I, I will break this stuff down if y'all want more on like what was my mind frame, why I didn't go to courts or, you know, a little bit more about me. But anyway, so just fast forward to the future. She just was neglecting my son so many different times. I was trying to get close to my son. I finally got real close to my son, got him with me. And was, you know, making him, trying to help him become a better person than what I was. And so he can break any family curses. Next thing you know, I found out my son is lacking a lot of different school, I mean, tool sets. Or he's lacking a lot of different skill sets or tools that he needs to survive in the future, definitely as a man. So I found out his mom was just chasing other dudes. She was wanting me. She was using my son as a as a pawn to get money out of me or to get me back with her. If I couldn't be with her, she was going to get money to make me suffer and to try to keep me from being with other people. And she said it out of her mouth. I got I got all kind of I got other proof, too, that y'all can listen to. But anyway, so. When that moment came and her house got shot up and I see my son was still behind in life and struggling with certain things, um, you know, she was calling him Debo. He was a bully. He wasn't doing good in school. He didn't have really any skill sets. He stuttered. I used to stutter. He didn't know how to read, spell. I was like, bump that. He's with me. I'm about to get him right. And until we find this guy who shot up your house, almost killed my son and these kids, he can't come back with you just because of the way you was cussing on the phone while he was talking to you. And then all you was focused on was child support, child support, child support. I let you get child support. For two years while he was still living with me, never called and complained about it or nothing. But as soon as I was. Stop, stop, stop again. Your son was living with you for two years and yet you still allowed her to get child support. Please tell me any woman out there that is having their child live with them for more than 30 days 
and still allows the fall it still pays to fall a child support hell no why is men why do we do this why do we say, oh, you know, she can have the money or whatever. Oh, I'm not going to complain about it or whatever. No, it's about the principle. Take her ass to court. Stop the child support. Understand your freaking rights as a father, as a man, and take control of your life instead of letting her just like, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, I don't feel like going to court. Or, you know, you never, you never know unless your ass gets in the courtroom, you explain the situation to the judge, and you actually make an attempt to get some legal paperwork changed, dude. Come on now. I was like, hey, I want to stop the child support because I'm sitting in the private school. I'm doing all this extra stuff for him. I need this money to come into my household with my family. You was popping up, torturing my family, doing all this extra stuff. You popping out at events, trying to say I kidnapped my son, all because of child support, all because of child support. I can give y'all more backstory, but I'm going to just say now, my son saw that Terrence Crawford video, and I thank God that we already put him in boxing, or I've been teaching him how to box, basketball, but he's, he's loved boxing even more, and he's, he's more inspired to fight back for his life because he saw Bud's story with his mom, and so he's seen how his mom thought about him and how his dad thought about him. He's like, that's like my same situation. My dad been speaking great things about me, so he wants to see, and his mom done called him stupid, dumb, all kind of stuff, and I and I speak differently. I speak against that, so my son's going to make it. Um, we're trying to get him to the NBA. He might go to he might go to boxing now, so if he goes to boxing, I'm going to move back to, to my hometown. This is why fathers are so important. Because a woman can raise a boy to be an adult, but she can never raise a boy to be a man. This is exactly why we need more fathers in the household, more fathers in these children's lives, especially the boys. Because a girl, she can be groomed by a woman to be feminine, to be a boss, to, to have a good, strong career. But... You have a man of have a boy that's raised by a woman. He's going to turn into a feminine male. He's not going to turn into a masculine man because he's going to be a mama's boy. He's going to learn how to be a woman, essentially, because a woman knows nothing about being a man or how to carry himself as a man, how to conduct himself as a man, how to lead as a man should iron sharp. Iron sharpens iron. So if you have a a woman that's raising a boy, she can never transform him into a man. She can only transform him into an adult. And that's what we lack in this world. We have seen a generation of boys that's raised by women and how that has just changed the whole entire generation of people. And now you see women out here talking about, oh, these men are so feminine. They don't, they're broke. They're mama's boys. They don't know how to lead. Who raised them? A whole bunch of women because you didn't have fathers in the household. In the black community, 80% of children are born out of wedlock. They don't don't have fathers in the household i know i grew up with one i didn't have my father i know how that felt i was lost especially when i was his son's age i was lost didn't have any way of knowing what to do with my life it wasn't until my latter 20s going into my 30s that i even started to have a vision for what i wanted in my life and I'd have been a statistic. I should have been a statistic had it not been for some other masculine figures that came into my life later on. Oh, by the grace of God, I didn't fall into the system. I didn't end up with, you know, all these kids everywhere and, and, and different baby mamas or ended up, you know, working a bunch of dead end jobs. No. So, it, but if I had a father in my life, especially at an early age in my teens, getting out of high school, going into college, my life would be so much different. I wouldn't have had to spend uh, so much time fixing issues in my 30s uh, st for stuff I did in my 20s because I was ignorant without the guidance of a father. And put him in a gym with Bud since I know Bud. And, you know, see Bud would show my son some love, not like give him extra cool points, but just show him how to, you know, get that little edge, that dog, Cause I have it too, but you know, sometimes you need other people from the community to pour into people. I'm not a, a blocker of blessings. So I just wanted to make this video real quick, just to let people know like, Hey, fella, speak out, stand up, use your voice. I didn't speak out, but I have documented stuff over the years. I just never spoke up. Cause I didn't think there was a platform for it for, for it. Sorry. I'm just getting passionate. 
I didn't think it was a platform for it. But people have been showing mad love on the video for Terrence Crawford speaking up, you know, giving him praise, was saying like his mom was wrong for that. They 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 spoke, you know, blessings over the dad. But the mom, she might have changed by now. So, you know, I'm I'm open for forgiveness and second chances, but you gotta really show the work. You can't just say the stuff and just expect someone to forgive you because if you've been forgiven already and you already blew the word forgiven without putting the work in to get forgive, bump that. So I'll give y'all Forgiveness is not for them. Forgiveness is for you. When you forgive somebody, you release that malice off of your heart and you, you, you put it somewhere else. Forgiveness is never for the person that you're forgiven for. It is, for, it is to relieve you of that burden, that stress, that, that heartache that's been, that's been irking at your soul for God knows how long. That's what forgiveness is for, is to just to release that, that, that issue, that burden, that uh, depression off of your soul, off of your heart, and it goes somewhere else. I got more information, but my son, he's been living back with me. Um, he, he used to go back and forth a little bit. Like when I took him from his mom, and not took him, but kept him with me. You can say took him or whatever. When I kept him with me and got him um, caught up on school, taught him how to read, spell, a bunch of other skill sets, he wanted to go back with his mom because my standards were high. But then he realized that's not the place to be. And so she kind of kept him from me a little bit longer. He came back with me. I got him back when she was trying to get him girlfriends. He was about to run away. He was about to wild out. I said, no, nah, I'm coming to get you. He was still that same little boy when I when I took him to, to, to uh, he was still that same little boy when he went to go li live back with his mom. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. But he was that same little boy that I dropped off at his mom house. But I've been pouring back into him. Um, she wouldn't let him work out since he's been back with me. He's been working out. His stomach's getting right. His body looking good. We about to blow up. And I thank you, son, for, you know, pushing me to put this on a YouTube. You know, you're believing in me like I believe in you. And I just want to tell the world, thank y'all for everyone who shows love, support. If y'all want to support the channel, just subscribe, like, help us run up the numbers. But my son, he's going to make it. Be looking out for him. What do y'all think about this video today? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. If y'all have a story that is similar to this, if y'all been through something similar to this, if you have a homeboy, a cousin, a family member or something, I want y'all to hear y'all comments in the description down below. I want to hear y'all stories about if y'all been through anything remotely crazy like this, dealing with these crazy, bitter baby mamas out here. Y'all let me know. Uh, anyway, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.